India's first indigenous aircraft carrier INS Vikrant begins trial, know what is special. India's first indigenous aircraft carrier INS Vikrant is expected to land at sea soon. According to Navy sources, the INS Vikrant's harbour trials have been completed and the basin trials are likely to begin in September. After the basin trial, INS Vikrant's sea trial will begin. Vikrant is expected to join the Navy by 2023. Construction of the 262 meters long INS Vikrant started in February 2009 at the Cochin shipyard. It can have 26 fighter aircraft and 10 helicopters. The Navy has currently selected the MiG 29K for this carrier. Apart from this, Car 31, Westland Sea King, and Indigenous Advanced Light Helicopter Dro can also be deployed on this carrier. According to sources, INS Vikrant's harbor trials have been completed but basin trials are being delayed due to COVID-19. In the basin trials, all the systems fitted in the ship are final tested to check whether it can be landed at sea. These tests have the presence of manufacturers of systems and equipment. Due to COVID, manufacturers are facing difficulties in this test. The Indian Navy wants to place INS Vikrant in Vishakhapatnam on the eastern seaboard. The aircraft carrier INS Vikramaditya, bought from Russia, is in Karwar on the western coast. India has long wanted to protect the sea with three carrier battle groups. The carrier battle group consists of a fleet of aircraft fighters, helicopters, and submarines along with aircraft carriers. The Indian Navy wants to have one carrier battle group each in the east and west for the protection of long maritime boundary and business interests. An additional battle group will be available for repair and upgrade. FA-18 Super Hornet is now undergoing ski jump launch trials for the Indian Navy. Boeing and the U.S. Navy are in the beginning phases of operating an FA-18 Super Hornet from a ski jump at Naval Air Station Tucson Trigger to demonstrate it is still bar compliant for the Indian Navy. Justin Gibson, a Boeing spokesperson, Boeing completed the extensive analysis and more than 150 flight simulations on FA-18 compatibility with Indian aircraft carriers, and while our assessment has shown the Block 3 Super Hornet is very capable of launching off a ski jump. This is the next step in demonstrating that capability. More details will be released upon the conclusion of the test demonstration. The company had previously announced plans to begin the ski jump flight test program in February. It had first disclosed that it was doing simulation work on the Super Hornet's ability to operate from a stow bar carrier in 2017. We've done a lot of simulation work with the Indian Navy to better understand their requirements and we feel comfortable that the Super Hornet can operate from all their carriers, both the ones fielded today and the ones in the future," Dan Gillian, vice president of the Super Hornet program, said in an interview with Indian defense news and analysis site LiveFist in 2017. We think we can move around the deck, be very mission capable with the relevant weapons loadout and fuel loadout to give the Navy what they need. The Super Hornet as built today can operate from Indian carriers. McDonnell Douglas, which developed the original FA-18 Hornet and was subsequently acquired by Boeing, had also previously conducted ski jump tests with that aircraft at the tail end of the Cold War. That testing showed that with as little as a 9 degree incline, the total required takeoff roll for the Hornet could be cut in half, though it's unclear what the jet's gross weight had to be to achieve this performance. Ski jumps generally increase the takeoff performance of combat jets in the absence of catapults and also provide an added margin of safety. Since at least 2016, the Indian Navy has been working to acquire a fleet of at least 57 new fighter jets to complement its existing MiG-29K fulcrums under the multi-role carrier Bone Fighter MRCBF, program. There have been numerous reports over the years that the Indians have been disappointed in the performance of their navalized fulcrums. The Super Hornet is now competing against the MiG-29K, as well as the naval version of the French-made Dassault or Rafael and a variant of the Swedish Gripen. The Indian Air Force notably took delivery of the first of its land-based Rafael variants last month. The Indian Navy had also previously rejected plans for a carrier-based version of the domestically designed Tejas, with complaints that the design was overweight, though the development of that aircraft has continued since then.
In January, the prototype landed on and took off from the INS Vikramaditya for the first time. Being able to operate from a stow bar carrier is a key requirement for the Indian Navy, which presently only has the one carrier, the INS Vikramaditya, which is in the configuration. A second stow bar configured flat top, the future INS Vikrant, and indigenous design are also under construction. The Indian government has expressed interest in acquiring a catapult-assisted takeoff but arrested recovery, Jato Bar, carrier in the past. Last year it emerged that BA Systems had proposed a design based on the UK Royal Navy's Queen Elizabeth class. The HMS Queen Elizabeth and her sister ship the HMS Prince of Wales are both short takeoff and vertical landing, stove, types with ski jumps, but no arresting system. It's not clear whether the ship that BAE pitched to the Indians is Stobar or Jato Bar derivative. There were Jato Bar variants of the Queen Elizabeth design among the initial proposals to the Royal Navy. What is clear is that the Indians have plans to expand their carrier fleets, which would also require additional carrier-based aircraft, proving that the Super Hornet, which is already Jato Bar capable, is also able to fly from still bar carriers could give it an advantage in the competition as India would not necessarily need to acquire multiple types to operate from different types of carriers in the future. The MiG-29K, for instance, cannot fly from Jato bar carriers, for instance. The Super Hornet, in its latest advanced Block 3 configuration, is also in the running for a separate Indian Air Force fighter jet mega contract which is looking to acquire 126 new fighters for that service. A deal with the Indian Navy could further tip the scales toward the F-A-18E slash F due to the cost benefits that India could realize from logistics, infrastructure, and supply chain commonality. If you want to watch more informative and interesting videos like these, subscribe and don't forget to tell your friends to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching our channel, Indian Armed Forces.